What's up guys, this is Bolash from Racing Brick. As a visual content creator, light is very important to me. You can't really see most of the time, but I use several different lights for filming my videos. I have this huge overhead softbox with a powerful LED light, smaller LED panels and so on. Their quality and color temperature is important to have a nice end result on video. But lighting is not only important for video recording. As you probably recognized, I build a lot. I mean, really, I spend several hours on a weekly basis sitting at my desk and building. Yeah, that's a pretty unusual set there, bought it recently and I promise I will explain the reasons sometimes next week. Since I usually have time for building during the evenings, and this room does not get much natural light even during the day anyway, I need to use a lamp. I bought this Xiaomi Mi LED 1S desk lamp some time ago. It's fairly cheap, around 35 euros or 40 bucks, has an adjustable brightness and color temperature, and besides the easy manual controls, it can be also controlled via an app, or even voice controlled by Google Assistant. Well, voice control is mostly a gimmick, but the app might be useful to set the exact color temperature to match my other lights. So, I've been more or less happy with this one, although I found the coverage a bit limited. I was looking for some other solutions, but did not really have the time to find something more serious. That's why I was quite happy when BenQ reached out to me and offered one of their lights for a test. I often get very weird review offers from different companies with totally unrelated products. Seriously, I even got offers to test and review yarn. But the folks over BenQ had a point. They said this lamp has useful features that might help LEGO builders, like its white coverage, good brightness and color accuracy, and adjustable color temperature. So I accepted the offer and this huge box showed up. Really, I did not expect a desk lamp to have such an enormous packaging. Here's the box of the Zetros for comparison, it's even bigger than that. Now let's open it. This lamp is available for some time now and has a pretty hefty price tag. It's 199 euros in BenQ's online shop. It's a lot of money for a desk lamp, so I'm really looking forward to see what we get for this price tag. The box design is cool. The lamp itself is very modern and stylish. Might not appeal to everyone, but I like it. It's still extremely heavy. Oh, the inner box got a nice touch with this plastic harness to pull out the contents. So, here we go. Here's our lamp. It is really much bigger than I expected. I was also a bit nervous since there are various color options on BenQ's webpage, including pink, but thankfully I got a nice neutral silver version. Here's what we get. A quick start guide, a box with the wall adapter and different plugs for different regions, the base, which is surprisingly heavy, and the lamp itself. There's even a warning sticker on the base, don't let it fall on your leg, as it will break like a pretzel. The assembly is super simple and quick, should not be a problem for LEGO builders, it's not a UCS8080 for sure. Here's the adapter and the EU plug for it, simply snaps in place, then I have to connect to the cable, which has a nice braided wiring by the way, and that's all. Now let's put it on the desk next to the other one and turn it on. This desk is a bit messy, let's put both of them on the other table for a better view and do a little comparison. So, first of all, size and flexibility. My old lamp has a tiltable head, but that's pretty much all. The BenQ one is bigger and way more flexible with these two sections, can rotate on the base, and the head is connected with a ball joint, so it has way more possibilities. How about controls? I showed you how this one works with the app, but otherwise their concept is quite similar. Here I need to push the button to switch it on and off, rotate the knob to adjust the brightness, push and rotate to adjust the color temperature. With the other one you turn it on with a simple touch on the ring, use the knob to adjust the brightness, and with a push on the knob you can toggle the color temperature adjustment. There are two different modes where the ambient light sensor is used to adjust the brightness. Touching the ring for two seconds activates the book reading mode with the LED here turning red, and another 2 seconds will activate the screen reading mode. Screen reading mode has a warmer tone and the brightness is lower at the center to avoid glare on the screen. If you rotate the knob then it will return to the standard mode and the LED goes off. Let's see the brightness difference with all the other lights turned off. This is the brightness of the old one and this is the brightness of the BenQ lamp. On paper this one should be almost 3 times brighter which is not really visible but it's brighter for sure. The size difference by the way really helps with the coverage as well, and the special curved head also matters. There's a visible difference at the same height, but if I use the abilities of the BenQ lamp, then I can light a much bigger area evenly, which is great. 
The color rendering index of this one is above 95, which is great. This means the colors you see are nice and accurate. So, the most important question here. Is it really good for LEGO building? Yes, of course. It's nice and comfortable as the height, the adjustability and the coverage is good. The color accuracy and the ability to adjust the temperature helps finding the proper bricks. But, and I'm sure that's the question most of you will ask, is it really more than 5 times better than this one, considering the price difference? Well, I'm not sure about that. There are hundreds of different desk lamps to buy on the market, prices go from 20 euros to 3-400 euros, and at the end of the day all of them serve a similar purpose, so you either compare the functions or the look before you decide. From a functionality perspective, these two are not that different, the BenQ light has some special tricks, but the other one has as well with the app control. The size and flexibility difference gives this one some advantage, but I think at this point you really pay more for the build quality and most importantly the design and it is great in both aspects. If you don't need it or you don't like it, then of course there are tons of other possibilities. So to sum it up, the BenQ with e-reading desk lamp might not be the best choice for everyone, but if you are looking for something cool and stylish with great functionality and you are willing to pay the price for that, then I think it won't disappoint you. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap that notification bell if you don't want to miss my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.